Uh, hello and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Now we've finally managed to turn Tumble into a semi-profitable hospital. Uh, we've we've got 170 grand to play with, so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, and we've got a letter from everyone's favourite Tarquin Frogsbridge, uh, who says, "Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded the one-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. You're doing a smashing job of gluing back together all of those witless activity bandits. I have never seen the appeal of pursuits out fresco myself." Land should be owned and profited from, not used as a venue for wanton perambulation. Ha ha ha, capitalism, money, blah 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 blah. To continue with your osteological upkeep for more rewards, or go elsewhere and expand your organization. Let us continue our expansion in Flemington. Now, what can I say about Flemington? With its beautiful winter gardens, its magnificent mansions, and its resident dukes, barons, and baronets. Well, I wish I could afford to live there, for one thing. <laughs> but I guess I'll settle for a visit instead. A very short, very expensive visit. Okay, so this is where the rich toffs live. Well, let's go and kill some rich people. <laughs> My long-term dream is finally coming to a close. Hospital in the wealthy town of Flemington. And what was going on in the background there, but... Oh well. Welcome to Flemington, a wealthy town where the people have more money than sense. I think we can make a killing here, pardon the expression, if we can get ourselves a marketing license. Is that how you spell license? I thought license had an S in it. Is that Lykensk? Lykenk. A marketing Lykenk. We can use the marketing campaigns to improve our reputation, attract more patients, and recruit better staff. I, fo I suggest we focus our research and marketing on an illness that has been plaguing the area for a while. Animal magnetism. Okay, we need research. Place. Give it a quick pausey pause while we get the basic rooms in. Uh, this part of the county is quite cold. Yes, no, thank you. There. Albert. Albert. I was aware. If we make a big reception, then we can always expand it later. Maybe we've got, like, yeah, three decks in there. That way, if you get, like, a backlog when we're going for later stars or something, I can just crank out a couple more assistants. You know, they're a dime a dozen, honestly. Don't does not print money, we've tried. Oh, we've got to get a printer in there. What else is going to jam and slow everything up? Uh, oh, a charity pot. Yep, let's get that there. Does that actually do anything? It's hospital attractiveness. Mini radiator. Uh, I think that's everything specific to this. A boombox radio. You've got to have a radio, but... I mean, it's just hospitals. So we're obviously going to have an old-fashioned and terrible one. Um... Let's just spend all our kudosh and all our money on a pointless reception. More flowers. There we go. Beautiful reception. And we have no money left to hire an assistant for it. Oh, wow, you're brilliant, yes. Um, let's get a teensy tiny GP office. I don't know where the hell people are going to sit, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, an old lamp in there. Can we get the medicine cabinet? Uh, we can't afford it. A little expensive, but it helps with treatment and diagnosis, I think. Yeah. And basically anything like that is going to help. Because when we get a massive influx of patients, we want them diagnosed ASAP. There we go. Hi, uh... Try Curious. Let's get some good ones to start with. Um, pharmacy in there. Let's make a row of like small but important rooms. Like our basic cure and diagnosis ones. And then we'll build a ward, maybe in this little gap here. That looks perfectly ward shaped to me. Uh, power extinguisher, of course. Old radiator there. Did I put one in the GP's office? Nope. It's probably a bit chilly then. There we go. I'll do a basic pharmacy. Nurses, do we have Josiah Asher, Alex Marathon? Uh, okay, dude, let's get oh, no, GD first. Medicine cabinet that's gonna be more important than room prestige at the moment, I think. Make these rooms as good as possible. Let's get you as a diagnostician. Uh, cardiology. 
I won't get a psychiatry yet because there's no psychiatrist available to buy, so there's no point. Um, and by the way, our money is going to tank from this. Um, because obviously we don't have any of the influx yet, because we don't have any patients. So, I'm going to be in the red a fair bit, but it doesn't actually seem to matter, so... <laughs> Why not? Why not go broke? A talented skimmer of stones. Uh, I think that's all the nurses, yeah, so I'll have to wait 22 days to get our ward. Actually, we might as well just build it now, and then people can move between. Also, I, I thought that was ward shaped, but then I forgot there's a bloody door right there. Um, so, we'll build our ward out. Like this. Change that. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, dude, I want to move the door, please. Thank you. Move that to there. Beds. I should just get a nurse station in there so they can peer over at them. We get screens. Got two behind them. Right, beds so they can fill the remaining space as much as possible with some beds. That was too good to be true. Ooh. Let's try doing this properly, shall we? A uh, nice, juicily big ward. Those wards are always useful. Maybe we can tuck like an awkward bed in there. <laughs> oh, no. It interferes with too much stuff. Alright, you'll have to go then. Oh, well. Alright, let's get a few bits and bobs in. The locker there. Medicine cabinet. Filing cabinet. For all our nursey needs. A bin there that's impossible for anyone to get to. Fire extinguisher just in case. Don't think anything can burst into flames here, but I ain't chancing anything. Uh, for some reason I can't tuck anything in there. Maybe in there. Some plants around. Patients to look at. Okay, is it you that's having a little trouble there? Yeah, I think it might have been interfering with those two together. Oh well. Alright, it's a big juicy ass ward. No one's staff it yet, but we've got 22 days to wait. Uh, and then let's get in the staff room and toilets. Actually, let's make a big open, like, Center room that we can get a few more rooms in. So let's make the staff room and toilets long like here. Need a big staff room. Always get another one if we need to. Just need somewhere nice and cozy for our people to chill. Drinks machine. The bin next to it, of course. Alright, extinguisher in case the drinks machine bursts into flames. Uh. Arcade machine, their own personal arcade machine, you should be very grateful. I don't think many staff rooms have a, a copy of Sonic 1, that's Sonic 1, fuck knows, or a copy of Sonic anything. Sonic Blast, you poor bastards if that's the case. Um, toilets, this will not have a copy of Sonic, unless you hate Sonic I guess, flushing it down the loo. Sinks, some hand dryers there and there. A bin full of paper towels for people who don't like the air dryers because I know they exist and I don't blame them because they can sometimes be a pain in the ass. Uh, maybe we can slot like another GP's office in there if we need one later on. But I think that's the basics of the rooms down. So let's get some stuff to keep our patients happy. Try and game things a little bit. this. Benches. We're trying to, I'm trying to build this hospital for the hospital I want, not the hospital I have. Uh, it's like dressing for the job you want. Building this hospital in anticipation of it becoming big and wonderful and bringing me lots of cash. Maybe that would never be the case, but one can always dream. Here. Uh, we're gonna make a zine rack. Oh, I thought that was an alarm sound then. It scared me. There we go. 
let's put one to offset the bin. There we go. I think that's a fairly decent hospital to start with. Now let's watch all my money disappear. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to pause it again. Doi. Hire Ursula. What I'm going to do to you is get into your jobs. Yes, thank you. And uh, this is all the thing, different things they can do, so they'll go to different rooms. Um, but I want Ursula here to only do research. Um, so what I'm going to do is build a research clinic. It's not really a clinic, is it? A research room, I guess. Uh, starting thing in there. A couple of desks in case anyone wants to go join her. A filing cabinet. Usual accoutrements. Bin. Radiator, so you can. No one could do research in the cold. That'd be a mad, mad world. And then we'll start the pest control project. And then be on our way to getting the marketing license that we desperately want? No. Yes, you like, usually it's just disease marketing. You don't actually market the hospital, surely. That seems a bit bizarre to me. Right, let's get a decent janitor in there. Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could yeah, make I guess you just decided you wanted to work there as well, did you? Bungle <laughs> Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. Let the lady who's designated as researcher do the research. You bellend. Go and sniff that yucca. Can we get a patient, please? Please, before the end of the month. So I haven't wasted all of this cash. Anyone? Patient? Someone uh, do something. Have an accident. I don't know. Uh, uh, get mucky feet or some shit. Can I get a nurse yet? No. Six days. What? Someone out there has got to think themselves of Freddie Mercury, surely. You know we can't actually cure that yet. So no one think they're Freddie Mercury. Let's we'll look in a few days. See what choice applicants we have. If there's anyone who can be a psychiatrist. Nope. But we do have a nurse for our ward. <laughs> yes. Ask firmly to stop. By which I mean they will be thrown out the door. Oh, you're doing the old alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Or I knew him Horatio. I'm sorry. Misquoting my Shakespeare. Does it feel weird, dude, just sitting on, like, the one desk? Oh, nice tash, though. Lovely scarf as well. Everyone's probably like, We've got one! we finally got a patient! It's like in Ghostbusters. Well, we lost 47 grand. Because <laughs> we lost zero in revenue. Uh, but, uh... Oh, you're cold. I didn't put a radiator in your room. That'd be why. That is pretty chilly all around. That's because we've got more radiators in there. Got to improve that hospital comfort. One there. That won't be able to scooch much in there, but you never know. There you go, that's better. Oh, okay. Have we been diagnosed or. No. But too cold. Is it still cold in the ward? Might just have to stick up. Ooh, it is a bit chilly, isn't it? There we go. That's much better. There you go, you're feeling fine now. Hey, we've even got our basic treatment rooms. No treatment. That's not great, you actually. Give my poor janitor something to do. There's any sick to sweep up yet? Oh, still no psychiatrists. We do need a training room, but I want to get the psychiatry in there first. Get the training room in the next plot of land. Hey, you still haven't been diagnosed. I think you're going back to the GP now. Yep. Which I don't mind because there's not a huge queue, but it still is a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. But we've got a decent GP in there. I think you, yeah, you are trained in GP. So, oh, you're a, you're a psychiatrist. Oh, wow. 
my case. Oh. Hello to all my faithful listeners out there. This is Ricky Hawthorne. Hello. Ready to pour another jar of good old fashioned honey into your ears. No. Now remember, the honey I'm referring to here is He's about semen. my voice. Sorry, that There's was inappropriate. No panic, but expected. Like that was kind time. of the low hanging fruit that you have to touch. Because why would you go for high hanging fruit? It's out of reach. Everyone goes for the low hanging fruit. Uh, I don't think there's actually much else I can afford to put in here. It's a bit of a bare bones thing. There we go. Be high, uh... Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll have two psychiatrists they can switch out. Okay. You'll have to wait. Our drug mix is getting upgraded. Which is a good thing. It means you'll more likely not die. And, I mean, that, we can just put that, tape that to a note on the door. Um, essential mason that's being carried out in the drug mixer so you die less. And then I guarantee you'll get no complaints. Right, you're thirsty. The okay, you're just getting up into your chair just to sit back down again. Better not be, uh, don't break it. It's mounted to the... <laughs> yep, yeah, we saw that. That's a bedpan. That's nice to just have there on the side. Oh, you pretty much you might as well just go straight to your treatment. See what I mean? It's just kind of pointless. There needs to be like a a, a selectable cutoff where you can just make people go to treatment rather than having to go back to the GP. So like, if I said it as ninety percent, then they would automatically be sent for their treatment room rather than having to get told to do that by the GP because it would just make so much sense and clear up so many of this game's problems. All right, off you go. Now we've killed our first patient. We got one. We did it. We killed one. Ugh. In our new drug mixer too. So I guess that note didn't work. But hey, but you're feeling confident now, Mr. Moustache. After that guy just fucking died. Hey, okay, yep. Let's see the tumbleweed. Our researcher is ready for promotion. I think I'm the Freddie Mercury's. We did ask for them, so can't really complain. Lost and found report. Green sock. Medium to large hole. <laughs> yeah, that's actually probably going to be one of mine, actually. Uh, my socks have holes all the time. I think there's like a little gnome that comes and unpicks them during the night. So, if any of you get diagnosed with sock gnome, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Strangle you with a pair of socks. Uh, yeah, stop looking at the medicine cabinet and heal this lady. She has potty mouth. It's a terrible, terrible disease. Yep, as I can say, it's pretty easy to diagnose, I think. Let's see if this new drug mixer is worth its weight in gold. Nice shirt, by the way. Drink down those pills. Hey, it is. It, it did something good. But you, on the other hand, blew it. Alfie Plop. How are you doing there? I think this is a diagnostic visit. Yep, diagnosis in process. Feeling visited by nurse. That's a good feeling, is it? I suppose it is. It's better than being ignored. But she's busy smelling the plant, so. Let's probably get another janitor. One that can deal with ghosts. Alright, how much does the next plot of land cost? That's 50 grand. 60 grand. That one's gonna be cheap. 60? Ugh. How about you? That one's gonna be expensive. You're gonna demolish an entire building. Yeah, 60 grand. 40 grand, that's better. We can probably demolish and the tennis courts as well. They t I think they are well, tennis courts, aren't they? You believe it? Yeah, there must be, because like, you surf from there over to there, don't you? And then like, there over to there. Well, no that's literally all I know about tennis. Other than there's lots of shouting. Here's a nice song to celebrate. All right. All my money, but let's buy that so we can get a training room in. Hopefully we'll cure some patients. <laughs> Would be nice. Um, but we'll see how well Flemington goes next episode, so that's not a good sign. So thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.